Something to work off of on that retake. See, we can see now crew starting to make their way forwards. Lige able to take down one. The trade it though, and Spike only now, uh, now just getting planted. Let's get there as well. So it feels like the positioning here is quite nice so far for crew to make this retake happen. You can see that the positioning for Sharks is somewhat awkward in the corner there. Oh, beautiful paranoia coming through just wow. at the right moment. B&J though trying to do something with that ghost, but it is all too little. And what's going on? This holding a 2-1-2 mostly. Ooh, Manzino able to take down Benaro there on B-Long. Still challenging this position is Sharks. Down to three players now. Prozen's managed to get really forward positioning and he surely needs to go with that, but now has got to take him down and it's just going from bad to worse here. For Sharks as crew are taking liberties. Mazino, look at this push from him around the side on B-Long. We'll find the spike and Light as well. Beautiful stuff. Excellent hold from crew the pushes then now you're looking at these toxic screens that it's okay to have the move forward as Del Zeke actually goes for the self boost is down there as well and, and I think at this point Sharks have made so much noise and investment it's quite clear exactly what's going on to crew and they've got that rotation coming through here to support in the defense of this site Prozen there pulls out the showstopper looking for a target oh. able to find one does get traded straight away and so that is still gonna leave crew in a decisive advantage a great position already aiming down the side pretty much on that mid side the crossover he's gonna waste time no matter what right even if he loses a couple of fights doesn't even need to lose it gets the last two and that's that's an easy lineup right there to try to provide some cover crash and all oh, one hp able to get the spike down and somehow survive <laughs> this is quite labored such a big flank now what can Naz get finds i mean denaro is looking for this it's all about the timing here for Nazget. Oh, able to find one. Thanks to the reveal from the recon and the trades start to come through now, but that bomb is taking away. The pressure is on the defenders here. Crew need to find their way onto this frag and they're going to get it. Mazzino is just unstoppable so far today. Excellent shooting from him. And that's going to be perfect to create that space. And like we said, Gabish is now with the knives on the top of 410. They should be able to take this map control. Oof. Oh, course is just going to swing through. Fantastic shot coming through from Nasket as well. And Nasket might be able to find some more here. I love the uh, shorty sidearm. Not too much here for Sharks to do. Two versus four. Spike will be planted. Lich actually just trying to bait out a player. player and BNJ will take down Prozen in the meantime. So looking pretty impossible indeed. Wow. Right. To attack B and we've got that Viper wall ready to go. The Kildo utility as well. And this is just going to slow things down. Wow. Okay. Oh, oh God. Crew have just <laughs> annihilated Sharks. I don't even know what happened there. But now there's just Brazen left. And he's stuck. And that's going to be good for the Prime Gaming positions. Crew happy to fight, though. Drone coming through as well. They saw that backside control. We talked about how important that is. And the Hunter's Fury will come through to deny the lockdown. Denaro able to do some good wow. damage there. Prozen able to finish off one with that showstopper. But this is looking very difficult right now, once again for Sharks. Spike is not down, and we've got crew just marching through the site on the retake, and they've only, they're only down a single player at this point. Man, the confidence here from crew. Old W towards his B side, the recon guard towards the back of the side, Klaus going for an Odin Vandal in the back of the spawn, but it's still going to be Sharks getting the first blood. Claus is in a great position. Oh, the line up there, only good for the one. The and J from up high there. Looking to make his way through Kitchen. And there's not a lot in the way of ults here for either side at this point. Well, Gavshi said with the blaze oh, no. required and Shock Dart's coming through. Taking down Frazan. And BNJ has been great with those Shock Darts so far. Getting this, I swear, getting the spike down in this matchup for Sharks has been very difficult, very traumatic. Asino just charging through there, spraying wildly. And it looks like Sharks might be good for this one here. They take advantage on the player numbers. Three. Well, now two versus two as Naz get pushes forwards. It's not really planning for them either. Caught by the paranoia. The pressure comes through, though. There is the defuse. Is actually sticking it towards halfway. There goes the cloud burst. Oh, there's nobody peeking or spamming this. In fact, crew are going to steal it away. Play that retake, and they're just giving up the site. 30 seconds. Nice with some good damage there at a distance. We'll get the wall up for the safe plant. The pick comes through as well. Four versus four. Crew looking to hold on to this. These four positions. B and J, really great spot to be in. 
Lots of angles to worry about, but you can see the like is going to be Frizan who will fall to him. Delzik with a nice one with the classic as well. And that's going to be a 2v2 now as it falls onto B and J. Is he able to make this one work? They're able to get the defuse started. Now the pressure is on for BNJ. Has to swing around the corner. Has to go all the way here. The stick is coming. And the stick is good. Oh. Now they're gambling towards the A sign. And that's where the hit is coming. Present they're able to defend one for one at least. Looking quite good here for Shark so far. Naro from up above there with the Shock Dots could do a lot of damage with this one. Close. Close. The crew. Lynch will make his way around 410. Has to be careful though, Lynch is somewhat isolated from his teammates. Oh, Frisan able to get it going there on the flank. And a 1 for 1 ensues there, like leaving Mazzino in a 1 versus 2. Denaro with that high ground advantage, able to take it down. Over, But the map and the A site is currently taking control by crew. Yeah, able to find that forward ground using the Ice Wall to get that plant down safely there is a hole that we can see because shark's trying to exploit oh, it trying no. to dive in there trying to get or make it so that that spike does not get planted but they will not be able to make that happen and they gave up a lot for that attempt they lost a couple players i think trying yeah. to dive on top of that spike so now they're in a 2v5 retake that's certainly quite difficult especially on this site especially with the plant being somewhat open economy should be fairly low, but uh, to get back here, Dan, about that frustration from Gabish's, he was just going for those pop shots into the A-site saying, hey, come at me. Like, I need to, to bring this confidence back in into the second map. I'm, 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 I don't mind going for aim battles here towards the A-side and try to see if I can just pop your head if you're going to try to peek out towards uh, pipes. But what I do... Yeah, this slower pace from crew is actually helping them out quite a lot because we saw that as you mentioned that early play from Denario in mid and some investment of utility and Aldrin's going out in the mid round now in mid from Denaro to try to find out what exactly crew are doing Ooh. oh the timing on the toxic screen couldn't have been better but doesn't matter Gavish uses there to punish and Mazzino goes down and there's 40 seconds to go to get the, the spike planted and at this point crew is starting to feel perhaps some desperation they need to get all of the bodies on a site it looks like B is going to be that sign. Oh, kill my and because they have a res too, I was going to say, it could be stressful at the same time too, because they dropped Mazzino, which means they don't have a toxic screen to go back towards B. But forcing that res and just booking it back left. towards the A side, it, it could keep Sharks guessing, but they still have two players inside the site with great angles so far. And here we are, we're going to get Mazzino just charging forwards. There's the Viper's Pit from up high, gets taken down immediately. Hunter's Fury gets sent through the side as well. Spike is coming down, the lockdown sent out by Klaus as well. And time is of the essence here to get that plant. Just enough time for B and J though. Gavishis all on Gavishis. Out comes the blades! Woo! Right click! Because they're going to get that rotation into B. Maybe just in the nick of time here. And it's going to oh. be a push straight forward. No many, not many bullets left there for Klaus, but just enough to get the kill and hold on to the position. He is in so much trouble. I don't even understand how Klaus is alive. <laughs> Gavishi is able to take down B and J. So still fighting hard here, but time is also against them. Maybe time is the greater enemy at this point here for Sharks. Crew will finish off the push. And wow. Sharks bring that in. The toxic screen comes up at the same time. And you saw how beautiful that was for them to get in. And a passive retake play for crew does not work out for their bonus round so far. Yeah, really nice push from Sharks. They've dealt with every position really effectively here. Oh, there, <laughs> there comes a very, <laughs> very quick BNJ. Satcheling forward. Prozen. Fantastic finish there with the Vandal. And that, that was... As, you know, without Brimstone, making his execution onto the site with the lack of smokes is going to be difficult. That said, Sharks Arm just maneuvering their way forward, contacting into the A site with great success. Able to get the opening kills that they need. A 3v3. Crew will have players here on the rotation in time, but they need to be cautious. Make sure they can coordinate this attacking effort. And with the Seekers, they'll do just that. Pushing forwards, but Prozen is, might, might just take the fight straight to them. Swinging out from U-Haul. BNJ with a great defense, leaving just Frazan left. Over by U-Haul, catches one. He, he, he surely knows there's a stick happening right now. Nagzed is never oh, yeah. coming off of this one. And he's going to just uh, see it to completion. But an Ice Orb to slow things down. This is actually a huge problem. Nagzed holding onto that position. And again, the Orbital Strike is still available. That could buy key time. There it goes into the showers. <laughs> That's the spike now down on the ground. Mazzino takes a forward position in the corner. And they have no idea that he's there. 
beautiful play from crew and uh, bnj has got to be in this position there goes the snake by bnj commits Ooh. to the fight by oh god comes actually comes out with the showstopper <laughs> gets denied unfortunately for him by the snake on this a site but again this utility very annoying to deal with nagzet great defensive kill there from triple and the delay again is just so <laughs> difficult for sharks to get past they can't deal with this utility 20 seconds to plant the spike. The four rotations in here now wow. from crew. Once again, they look like they're they're in control of everything. Just have to hit the shots, but it shocks. He might be a little bit better on that one. Delzic with something to say about it. Quick rotation though from Frasan through to the B site. It is a sprint. It's a race. Frasan might be able to just about plant this one. Oh no! Oh no! He's well. There's no more time for that. Nope. Gambling on the push. A push that never came. For Fury, it could help a lot, but they're still going into a cross first up in the B site then. Yeah, crew have players backside to deal with this. Delzik lost one standing here for the time being, but Lyche able to deal with him. And that nice. should be now the side open for the plant. You get some snake bites coming through. I'm not sure if that's going to bounce and deny. It doesn't look like it will. Denaro with that plant for Sharks. Sharks looking good here. Three versus two advantage with that spike on uh, planted. Three alts. There's no way you lose this round now for for sharks. Oh, you just you just said it, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Is the jinx gonna come through here from Vansili? Crew are gonna creep their way forward. Great crossbar setup. Mazino will get. He will indeed get taken down a lot. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, nice open over the showstopper there from Prozin. And now we've got Klaus trying to get back into safety, just about able to dodge around elbow. Great shot, so Prozin is looking fantastic. Ooh. Klaus is able to hold on to things here on elbow at the very least. Out comes the Seekers. And it looks like actually crew have control of this site. We see that there is a rotation now from Sharks straight to the A site after pulling all of the rotation there from crew. As you know, he's caught the spike on the cross. This is a problem. Gonna have to take the fight here is Gavishis and unfortunately... Or they're going to push him back at the same time too from that dart. But at least Delzik still has the orbital strike. So this could be very good right now as he's still holding showers. He has great crossfire from his teammates. So he doesn't have to worry about getting pushed from the back. He does get the first kill. Looks back towards the showers. But loses a fight to Donato, unfortunately. Nice shot by Leich as well. Mazino is in such a good position. It's down to Nagzet here on the flank. Is he going to be able to find anything here? Oh, Leich again. Really good round from him so far. Definitely looked like Nag that was on top of that one. Now Klaus in the 1v3 has been spotted as well. So that is not going to happen. You're on the attack. The drone is a great counter to Viper. If you can find the Viper and Tiger, that would be great. But Mazino able to dodge the drone, picks up the kill onto Prozin, pushes further forward, leaving Sharks in a desperate position. Leish able to get control of Showers with that pick onto Nagzet. But there's still much more work to be done here. And Mazino and just such an annoying threat here it's going to be completely circumvented as we see the rotation towards b but klaus how many times has klaus done an excellent job in this position takes down one the second and the oh. third klaus is so damn good and now there's only one left standing and there's no time mazino finishes off lights and that's a 7-5 finish in oh frazan gets caught on the jiggle and crew now are in a really good position to try to barrel into this B site, but the toxic screen, do they respect it? It is des it's very dangerous to push <laughs> past it, but they're gonna make it work. Nice jump straight through the screen, and crew are looking really good on this coordinated push. Fantastic stuff. A trailblazer to get information. So they go aggressive and they play the angle. They're trying to go. I, I thought it was gonna be a double swing, but now Frazan gets caught, and this is gonna be even harder here for Frazin, and unfortunately, he's only good for one. Really difficult spot here. Vice gonna just swing onto Klaus, goes down as well. Denaro with the Phantom, unable to make anything happen. Ooh, big result there for Crew. Very nicely done. Way, but still very dangerous with this judge in this position. Oh! Wow! Mazzino, I don't think he knew anything about that one. Just jiggling <laughs> with the Phantom, takes him down, and that's gonna be a free A site to take full advantage of. The Viper's Pit is down as well, and this would be a two versus five retake. I don't think the Sharks want anything to do with this but see if they can get any damage in here well wow it's, it's, he's actually going forward he knows his angles beautiful stuff the distance advantage there for gavishis is used to perfect effect 
And able to fall back and away now. And this is very scary because the low psych will get Krustein to try to swing onto the site. The toxic screen is there. It goes down! Oh. Gavashis, great stuff from here. What a round so far from Gavashis. Looking to finish it all off, but will get taken out. Done more than enough. Darks to be able to just close down, but some of these peaks, you know, it just didn't go their way. It just started with Denaro losing his 1v1. Peter Hunter's Fury as well, so yeah. would have had the ability to, to use that to delay. Oh, this is this is scary. Mazzino has got a great angle there. The spray transfer is almost good for it. Sharks will take down Mazzino. Nagzad is investigating. Oh, no! Oh! Up. And that's the res as well. If it wasn't bad enough, they get oh, an extra no. player out of it too. And Nagzad's going to just lock off U-Haul. Denaro there with that Hunter's Fury. Able to pick off one, but it's still a 2v4 here. And yeah. this is it. Fan silly. If they lose this round, if Shocks lose this round, they're out. Well, you have Orbital Strike. So this is something that could maybe help out. Ledge hopefully could get something in terms of map control by alting towards the U-shaped hallway. And then it could push out from that. There you go. They force it out, but BNJ comes out of the U-shaped hallway with a showstopper. <laughs> and this is going to be almost game over here, Dan. It's looking like it right now as Sharks will try to make something happen. Denaro making his way forwards. The crew, they are playing disciplined here. The spray comes through and crew.